In this video, we are going to walk through how to create and use tables in Google Docs. First, we're going to open up an empty Google Doc that we have here, and then we can insert a table by clicking on the insert button in the top menu, then table, and then move your mouse over however many columns you would like and rows, and then click when you have selected the number that you would like of columns and rows. So we have three columns and four rows here, and then you can type directly into your table and you'll notice that um, the rows do expand with text. So as we've added to our list here, um, the row does grow with it. So it adapts to your text. There is a little shortcut feature at the top of the um, columns. If you hover your mouse, you can drag and drop your columns to reorder them. Another shortcut that's available in that little pop-up is to sort your table. So we have these letters out of order, then we can click on this and sort ascending and it will put them in order alphabetically. You can also sort descending and you'll see that does affect the other columns because this sort is for the whole table. So if you'd like your table to be um, alphabetized, uh, that is a great way to do that quickly. There's also a quick insert column feature in that little pop-up menu. You can also insert columns and rows by right-clicking on your table. You have options to insert a row above or below and a column on the left or right. We've inserted a row here. We'll add another one. And then if you right-click, you can also delete rows or columns or the whole table. So we'll delete that row out of the middle. Another option that you can do is merge cells so you can really personalize your table. So highlight the cells you'd like to combine and right click and choose merge cells. You can do that horizontally like we've just done as well as vertically like shown there. And so that's a nice way to kind of change up the structure of your table. You can also click on table properties again in that right click menu and you can really dial in um, what your table looks like with alignment and uh, your margins. So you can set um, your cell alignment to be middle. Um, the top is the default and left is the default, but you can set for the whole table here in table properties. You can also set the overall color and size of the table border. So we're going to change this up to a purple color. You can see that changes and then we can make the lines thicker for the border on the right. Then whatever cell you have selected, you can change the cell background color as well. So if we highlight our whole table here in table properties, we can change the cell background for all of them as well. So that's in your table properties on the right. You can really dial in some of your alignment and uh, color options. So we can also pin a header row, very similar to in a, a spreadsheet where you freeze a row or a column. So when you sort, they um, are not affected. So this uh, pinned our top two um, rows here. And so when we sort, it only is sorting the bottom two. Another option for inserting a table is you can type the at symbol and it will bring up the um, insert menu and you can scroll down and insert a table from there. You can also adjust the column width uh, by dragging the line back and forth. The column width is going to stay the same through the entire table. And sometimes you might want to have different widths um, for different sections. So you can add multiple tables to your document and then adjust those um, column widths as needed. Another option is to use the table properties and change the border to be zero point font and that essentially makes an invisible table that you can use to structure your document without having all of the lines for a table. So that is an option that you can use as well, changing your border to zero point font. And that is how you use tables in Google Docs.